it's time to kick off a new season of the whole nine yards. Hello everybody, I'm Ralph Ventry and I am glad to be back for another season of Northeast Conference football. We have an abbreviated week zero edition of the whole nine yards on tap for you today. The 2018 schedule kicks off on August 25th. The first game on the calendar involves a Northeast Conference team. We'll talk all about it in the opening drive. There are five Division I games on the Week Zero docket. Duquesne is playing in one of them one of four FCS teams in action on August 25th. The Dukes visit FBS member UMass. Having been picked second in the NEC preseason coaches poll, Duquesne is a team that's led the conference in scoring offense each of the past three years. There's a decent chance that that could happen for a fourth consecutive season because the Dukes feature two of the premier offensive weapons in the football championship subdivision. Wide receiver Nahari Crawford is coming off a 15 touchdown season. Running back A.J. Hines ran for more than 1,000 yards for the second consecutive year. That was despite missing two and a half games to injury. Both Hines and Crawford are preseason third team stats all Americans. Their first test will come on the road against a UMass team that won four of its last six games in 2017. UMass quarterback Andrew Ford settled in nicely. The Minutemen during that six game stretch averaged more than 33 points per contest. So they'll pose a challenge to the Duquesne defense, which welcomes back some veterans such as linebacker Brett Zanato and defensive back Jonathan Istache. We'll take a quick Twitter timeout, taking a look at a tweet from the Pittsburgh Post Gazette's Omari Sankofa. Omari recently penned a story on the quarterback battle that has emerged at Duquesne. Even though the Dukes opener is just days away, this QB competition is not completely settled. It's looking like it's either junior Luke Brumball or Florida Atlantic transfer Daniel Parr. As Jerry Schmidt points out in the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, both candidates have their advantages in the QB battle. Rumball is someone who's intuitive, who's been in the system at Duquesne for a couple of years, gives that familiarity. Parr, who joined Duquesne during spring season, he brings a little more athleticism to the position, a bit more mobility. We'll find out which direction Duquesne chooses to go, but the good news for whoever wins the starting job is they'll have an experienced line and some battle-tested playmakers alongside. Now this is the part of the program where we enlighten you with some information you may not have been aware of. It's the Did You Know. Did you know the last time Duquesne played an FBS member, it was the 2014 season opener against the University at Buffalo. The Dukes gave the Bulls all they can handle. It was just a one touchdown margin in the fourth quarter of that one before Buffalo closed out a 38-28 victory. And did you know Duquesne will not be the only Northeast Conference team to open the season against an FBS program? Defending champion Central Connecticut State kicks off its title defense at MAC member Ball State Thursday night, August 30th. All seven NEC teams will be in action in week one. 
For now, we'll whet our appetite with Duquesne at UMass in week zero. We'll be back to tell you all about how that worked out and more when we have a full edition of the whole nine yards ahead of our week one slate. It's good to be back. A lot of football coverage coming your way from the NEC Front Row Studios. The Super 7 on Tuesdays, the whole nine yards on Thursdays, live game action on Saturdays. It's good to be back. For NEC Front Row, I'm Ralph Ventry. Happy football.